Oh, balls. Here we are again. Looking for some math help because math is kicking me square in the teeth, causing me pain and tears and self-conscious issues or whatever. Which is true. The only thing that I do when that happens is drown myself in a sausage and egg. Interesting. So, if you don't have a sausage and egg handy, you might as well just learn a few tricks of the trade. One of the most important things, cross multiplication. It's basic. Let's do it. All right, check it to check. This is my cross multiplication thing. We're going to find percent or is or of. This is language here. This is my formula. We see that we have this one fraction equals another fraction. So in our question, let's just do a question right now. What is 20% of 30? Oh, that's so good. What is 20% of 30? So here we have this question, and what we need to do, like any other formula, is figure out what information we have. I can see that what is is blank. Well, what is it? It's like this is what we're looking for. What is? We have this 20% right here, which means we're going to stick this 20% in the percent section, and of 30, well, that is going to go over here in the of section. That's the first step across multiplication is figuring out what goes where. Once we have that kind of deal, then what we do is plug in these numbers. So, cross multiplication starts with a cross multiplication station. Right? I always just start out by doing this. I have these two fractions, is over of equals percent over 100. We already know that 20% goes there, so I'm going to stick 20 there. 100 comes for free because that's what percent means out of 100. And then of is 30. See what we got here? We have three different numbers that when used appropriately, when using cross multiplication, we will find out the fourth. Now cross multiplication looks like this. Cross multiply first. Cross multiply means we need to multiply two numbers from uh, one from this fraction, one from this one. So it obviously has to be 30, but you cross it and you multiply it through the equal sign. So literally, I draw a, an arrow through the equal sign. So that's crossing up. It doesn't matter if you cross up or cross down. It depends on what variables you have. 30 times 20. Once you cross multiply, then you divide by the remaining number. Now here's what it will look like. So if I was to just draw out my steps, which is always a good idea, Hold on, that, was, that didn't work. That's always a good idea. So, step one, 30 times 20. That one equals 600, obviously. Then I'm going to divide by 100. So, six is our answer. But the thing about math that's really confusing sometimes, right guys? Six is our answer. The, the thing about math that, that really is confusing is that there are multiple ways of doing the same thing. You know, if this concept is confusing, you cross, multiply, then divide once you have these fractions set up, then, then don't, don't, don't think of any other way. Just keep it simple. Just do this. It's fine. The thing is, I know my, my uh, order of operations, which means I can totally divide this first and then multiply by 30. Let me show you what that would look like. 20 divided by 100 equals 0 0.20 and then multiply that by 30, son of a gun, at 6. I can do this side of the fraction first, 20 divided by 100, then multiply by 30. Because of order oper of operations, I can do the same thing and get the same number. But cross multiplication is always going to be a comparison of this fraction equaling to another one, which means they're equivalents. So, like, look at this. I'm going to fill in this number. So we already calculated that 6 out of 30 equals 20 over 100. Meaning, 6 over 30 equals 20%, or 20 over 100. Not too many people plug in that number again. Like, look at what happens when I divide this. Look, 6 divided by 30. Guess what that equals? Yup, 0.20. Now, does that equal 20 divided by 100? You darn tootin'. Look at this. 
It's the same thing. That's what cross multiplication does. You know, the, the price of it is, you know, I don't know, you get a 20% sale. Um, you're looking to calculate what you got on a test, what percent. Percents are easy, cross multiplication is a basic skill that you need, right? But again, if this is all confusing you because there's different ways to come to the same answer using order of operations, keep it simple. Fill in two out of the three variables that you have, right? This one's for free, so actually there's four variables, or four numbers here. An equivalent fraction, cross multiply, divide, cross multiply, divide, ergo, cross multiply, and divide. Keep it simple, guys.